It's a late October night in 2003. A body is dropped off at the doorstep of Hialeah Hospital in Miami. It's an opiate overdose, but not just any opiate overdose. What do you mean, just give him a shot of naloxone and carry on, my wayward son? Not quite. It's 2003, and access to naloxone is tightly restricted. Not even Jonathan, the son of naloxone's inventor, Jack Fishman, will receive this critical intervention. Jack Fishman may have invented naloxone, but the law prevented him from possessing or administering his creation. That October night marked the last opiate overdose for Jonathan. But for the Fishman family, it marked the last opiate overdose for anyone. Through their and other allied advocacy, access to naloxone has since become increasingly widespread. Sold under the brand name Narcan, where I'm from, it's a medication of the opiate antagonist class. Why does naloxone make opiates so angry? It's mechanism of action. Naloxone causes the rapid removal of opiates from opiate receptors. This Game of Thrones results in a temporary reversal of that opiate's effect. It also has a little-known effect of neuropathic pain mediation. Here's a reference. Indications. Naloxone is used for getting rid of opiates from opiate receptors. Why would you want to do this? Because too many opiates cause you to breathe so slow you die. Its routes include IV, IO, IM, sub-Q, nasal, and there are current clinical trials underway for topical and buccal. For reversing acute opiate overdoses, the dose is 0.4 mg to 2 mg through approved routes every 2 minutes titrating to effect. For peds, this will be 0.01 to 0.1 mg per kilogram, or pull out the Braslow tape. If you want to just pump the brakes on the respiratory depression, doses between 0.1 and 0.2 mg may be more appropriate. For peds, this is 10 mics per kilogram, or once again, pull out the Braslow tape. Here's the best data I could find on durations. And moving on to contraindications, which is only known intolerance to naloxone, such as allergies or other hypersensitivity that would cause greater harm than benefit. That's it! So few gotchas to consider with this medication are what make it such a slick tool to work with. Precautions. Watch out when reversing opiates. It's quite a shock for a patient to go from cloud nine back to earth again. Patients can come up swinging. Interested in more paramedic FOMED? Check out my favorites on the website and evaluate how much you've absorbed using the testing material I've made for each video all available for free. And check with your regulatory body, these might be a convenient source of continuing education credits as well. References in the description below and thank you very much for watching.